man in the back, sick of the girl delaying. Okay, people. So this is what's going on. So last year, I uh, I renovated this bathroom. Okay, I gutted it. Got went down to the the studs, knocked the floor. These this is new tile I put onto the floor. Okay, this new tile I put on the floor. When this radiator was originally put in, obviously it was on the floor, the original floor. So somebody. You know, prior to me, renovated the bathroom and just never took the radiator off and just went around it. So they had, it was like, it was like, uh, they must have cut the tile. They must have like made a slit in the tile like this and just slided the tile in there. So when I did it, you know, I'm trying to be professional and everything. And uh, so I said, you know, what? I'm going to take this radiator off and, 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 and do it right. You know what I mean? So, I took it off, and then when I put the new floor down, now when I'm trying to line it up, as you can see, stuff don't line up, you know? So, I used this piece of wood, and I got one of my, uh, I got one of that, that big, those big old uh, plumber wrenches or whatever it is, pipe wrenches, the long one, and I pulled it, pulled it down, and trying to see if I can get some, just to come up a little bit. And it came up a little bit, but not enough. So now it's like, well, what the hell am I going to do? So I'm just, I went to YouTube. I'm trying to find out, you know, are radiators hollow? Like, are they hollow? Obviously, they're hollow in here. But are they hollow all the way down here? I don't know. I went on to a, a, some kind of forum, a DIY forum, somebody, the same type of situation. And the answer was, some are and some aren't. So we are going to find out if this radiator which is uh it says richmond or something like that over there it says richmond radiator richmond so, so y'all can see i don't know if y'all can see it that well but that says richmond so it's richmond radiator radiator whatever if i cut this bottom part right here is it solid or hollow it don't make no sense if if when you're making these radiators in my mind, it don't make no sense that I can understand this part being hollow up to here. Which is why they probably got this right here. You know, to say that this is the solid piece, but we're gonna find out. Cause I'm about to cut this crap. Because I'm not digging no hole in my floor just to put this down. That that's, that just doesn't look good. So that's what we're gonna do. We will see how it works out. If it don't work, I took an L for everybody else and they found out not to do what I did. And if it worked, then it worked. Okay, so cutting that like three eighths. Only, I only cut off three eighths of an inch, so I can only speak to three eighths of an inch. Okay, I don't know about going all the way up here and all that, but three eighths of an inch is what I did, and as y'all can see, it's solid. So good, 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 good. I'm happy about that. So as you can see, I cut them all. See. Cut them, cut them, and they're solid. So, uh, I used the metal, I mean, the metal cut blade on my, on my roto zip, right? But it was just eating through the, this, whatever they make, this metal they make this out of, it's no joke because it ate through the, the metal blade. But I used my old trusty diamond, uh, floor tile uh, blade and it cut through it and yep no problem so now we just gotta install it got that done okay 
student guard. Uh, you see, I didn't have to cut no damage my floor, you know. Right here, right there. So we good. You can cut it at the very bottom. Like about, I cut a three eighths of an inch, and it looks good.